you can't actually be an AMD fanboy anymore. Because if AMD bends you over this hard in the ass and you're still an AMD fanboy, then you basically have no credibility online anymore. Mm, debacle. So I predicted the performance dead on, but did not predict the shit show. The shit show being... Well, first, you want to start with the marketing of it, right? We already talked about this many times. Uh, this is what Cortex was hammering on about, too, because now they, they found they found an old clip of uh, uh, Herkelman talking about the NVIDIA power connectors and all this, how it's melting, um, you know, how he, they were, like, trolling NVIDIA, and now their cards are literally melting because the cooler doesn't work right so that's kind of that's kind of the whole debacle there right um drivers power draw at idle um power limits locked we already we already kind of listed that off in the last video there right in the last stream but now there's some new ones right so um previous list we already know the previous list i'm gonna rehash that again right but now so the cooler thing right so this is why i'm this is why i'm gonna be returning the card right um because you can't sell this fucking thing dude i can't, like yeah i yeah you can't you can't i can't even ask for a single dollar more than what i paid for it right yeah the power efficiency was the probably the biggest letdown right brutal dude brutal uh yeah so the cooler problem uh slash der, der bauer investigation so he was saying this i actually did watch this video he i got clickbaited i'm not gonna lie it's like amd is way worse than i thought i'm like oh really i gotta, I gotta click on this shit right if AMD is worse off than we thought, we got to click on that, right? Um, so he, what did he find? He found, he tried all the different varying mounting pressures. He shimmed off some screw holes to increase mounting pressure. He did all the things, right? Um, he took, he leveled off his, um, uh, the, the, the differences of the die heights between the, uh, the CC or the, the chiplets and all that shit, right? Um, the D D Bowers video, Der Bowers video here. Yeah, go watch it if you haven't seen it. Oh, uh, AMD's in big trouble. That's what that's what it was, right? And then, oh, I, I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, he did a follow up. Oh, I wonder why YouTube didn't serve me this video. That's weird. Maybe we can watch this together. Oh, uh, well, maybe we will. Um, so anyway. He just so lo, the summary of the whole thing. The summary of the whole thing is um, when you have when you start. So let's say the, the the graphics card is ice cold, right? The water, the vapor, the water inside the vapor chamber is liquid. It's it's at the bottom of the chamber, right? You start with the graphics card. We're gonna let's go paint. This is the graphics card, right? I think his findings are probably legit because other people have tried to replicate it and it is replicable. So this is the, it is replicable, right? This is the graphics card. Here's the display ports, right? And these are the fans. Okay, so it's horizontally mounted, right? Now, this is the vapor chamber here for the core water is on the bottom here it's ice cold right now as it heats up right the water evaporates inside it goes up here it goes up when it gets to the top here it cools down and then drops back down 
and that's basically the idea of what heat pipes are or vapor chambers the water is constantly circulating as it evaporates and condenses back down and that's like the power of air cooling basically this has been air cooling technology for the last god knows how long right uh, in every in every copper heat pipe there's a little bit of water not water whatever the hell they use there's a little bit of fluid in there that evaporates and comes back right Con convection cooling I don't think that's the right term but anyway that's basically what it is right so anyway then so imagine this process is happening while the card is vertically mounted works fine and then what he found was if he flips the card horizontal it's like imagine this being the horizontal view of the the um the vapor chamber now the water is down here heats up comes back down for some reason it's not working like i guess there, i guess there's either not enough water or there's not enough room for it to like it, it's the water is staying in a gaseous state and it's not recondensing back into water to cool the vapor chamber properly right so for some reason it's staying in a gaseous state when the card is uh, vert uh horizontally mounted sorry and then for some reason when it's already too hot i guess the i guess the copper is just too hot now right he he moves it back into a vertical position and the problem does not fix itself i guess because the copper is already too hot by that point from this shit now the copper can't cool down enough because it's not going back into a water state right so anyway that's the that's the long gist of it of what's happening there right now um i think a couple of people on reddit have tried and a couple of media outlets have tried to replicate that and they did so there is a fault in somewhere along the line with the heat pipes or the vapor chamber there's a problem somewhere with the evaporation and recondensation of the of the water, right? So anyway, anyway. This only affects only affects MB models made by AMD. Made by AMD. Uh slash reference. Right? Um as far as we know, anyway. If you vertical mount it, it's fine. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. So if you're if you're using a vertical mount you won't encounter the problem but it's still a defect in the product though right it's still it's still you know it's a thousand dollars man you know like like the, like like let's not go looking for I, I i know i know golden rule number one is to take care of yourself and if vertical mounting makes it work then just do that sure but it's not the fastest where that would be warranted you could just water block it too but if if it was a 4090 and it was doing that i'd be like it's the fastest just fix it yourself right um if it was a 4080 or down or a 7900 xt or down you're paying too much money now and it's not the fastest so you shouldn't be dicking around with it right um if that makes sense right that's that's where i stand on that right i'm not gonna go buy a water block for a card that isn't the fastest you know what i'm saying like why why would i go so it's like it's like 7900 xtx plus water block let's say it's like plus all the water cooling hardware let's say 1300 dollars all in or just buy 4090. You're like you're never gonna do this. Like that doesn't make it doesn't make sense to do that. That's why I'm not down with like fix it yourself if it's not the top model. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you can just buy that and it'd be faster no matter what anyway, right? Although I, I think I might water block mine to see what it can do, the hellhound, right? But anyway. Anyway, so now there's that whole clusterfuck. AMD has not um ad uh, like or addressed it they haven't talked about it yet so anyway the next thing that next thing that's coming around is um the cars have been out for about 
20 days or so december 14th 5 10 15 yeah about 18 days or something like that um and the reviewers have had him earlier i saw that problem this one is more con conjecture i suppose this could this could just be like a whistle blower type weirdo right problem was not there at the start developed over time this one i'll put a star beside this one because i don't think the cards have been out long enough for this to actually be true but th there are reports of this out there right now so if this is the case that means the longer you have the card the worse it's gonna get which which does make sense but not in the time span of 30 days because you know how aios slowly lose the water inside of them air coolers kind of do too but not to the same degree as as aios do right like you could use an air cooler for like five years and it'll still work kind of thing right um right so if this is true though or it's happening at, a, at an accelerated rate because there's already such little water in there then they have another huge problem on their hands right why did you buy an amd product it's like like you should have known better what it like so if you um if you're a frequent if you're a frequent watcher of my channel what like so i'm gonna click bait you into watching this video obviously right like for the for the you know i'm gonna click bait you into watching but genuine question though if i click baited you into watching this why did you buy it at what point will you learn your lesson about fucking around and finding out about amd products like at what point are you gonna fuck around and find out because i don't know man if so if you literally spent a thousand dollars and you got a product that just didn't work and then imagine this imagine this Okay, if you're buying the products because Lisa Sue is hot, that's cool. Can't argue with that. If you want to just slap some sweet Lisa Sue walls. Then you're pretty much simping, though. I, I don't think you would get any walls if you're donating money to Lisa Sue. I don't think that works that way. Um, you, have to, you have to be Jensen, pretty much. You have to wear a leather jacket. But... um. I totally lost my train of thought there. Jesus. Yeah. At what point are you going to figure out? Oh, yeah. Right. What I was, was going to say. Yeah. 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 So let's say you actually do fix it yourself and you buy a water block for it. And the, the cooler portion. And, and you still have to go over the power limit hurdle. Okay. Let's say you buy a water block. You fix the cooler problem. Let's say, let's say the golden rule of take care of yourself and you go to the nth degree on that shit, okay? And then you install an EVC2. You, you're soldering the board now to bypass the power limit. Okay, water block, soldered the board. I've bypassed the cooler problem. I've bypassed the power limit problem. The last one that you cannot bypass, the driver problem. You ain't fucking bypassing that shit. Although it is okay. I would say it's the drivers are bearable. Even though the 1% lows aren't the best. Or. Or just buy NVIDIA. I, I, I don't want to say 4080. Or I should say buy 4090 slash last gen there you go because you can buy amd last gen too and it's quite good right just buy a 4090 or last gen or you're gonna do all this shit right and here's the other baffling thing why am i the only guy that sees all this or or or, or what i should say was um i guess everyone sees it now because it's now now the evidence the evidence of how shitty amd is is so blaringly obvious that you can't actually you can't actually be an amd fanboy anymore because 
if AMD bends you over this hard and fucks you in the ass and you're still an AMD fanboy, then you basically have no credibility online anymore because you can't be taken seriously. It's like, bro, their shit doesn't work, period, right? So that's that's the, that's the other thing that I always wondered when I got into this whole hardware space too, right? I'm like, how am I the only one with 2020 vision here, man? Like, like all these guys should have known better. It's AMD, man. I don't know. I don't know. That's just, that's how, that's my, that's my, um, that's my take on the whole situation. I don't know. How did nobody know better? And then like people were shocked that it wasn't 2.2 times faster. Not 2.2 X faster. Like, and then like, like everyone's like doing this shit. Like, oh no, the coolers don't work. Oh no. The performance sucks. The drivers suck. How could that be? Like what? I don't know. I've harped on about this long enough, but what? What the fuck? Really? Is everyone doing this? A recall allows them to file chapter nine bankruptcy. No, they're way too profitable to file bankruptcy. I wouldn't go that far. I don't think they'll even do a recall because they're denying. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. We didn't even talk. We didn't even mention that. Denying RMAs for it. Yeah, dude. I don't. I totally forgot about that. There's uh there's pictures and tweets on the internet of the AMD support just denying the fucking RMAs. Runs at 110 Celsius, as intended. What the fuck? You get your credit card company involved. Dude, AMD is. Dude, what is AMD doing? Holy shit. Jesus, learn your lesson. Uh, do not buy AMD until all until like I would say maybe like you have to wait like sixty days. Wait sixty days after product launch, like because let's say if I got the seventy nine hundred X, even if even if you're not just like a viewer of mine, right? this this cooler problem took what almost 30 days to become like a mainstream issue right so if you bought a 7900 xtx uh based off of the launch day reviews you just got fucked again right so you i think i think 60 days is and the 60 days isn't that long guys like like and there's not going to be any shortages or no panic or any of that shit right you just just wait, even with the 4090 and NVIDIA products, just wait 60 days. Nothing bad happens. It's not like you're going to place. It's not like you're going to be able to compete now all of a sudden or play some game that you couldn't play before. If, if like, if you, if you are seriously a, um, an AMD fan and you have to have an AMD product, at least just wait 60 days and then you can at least know which AIB model is the best with the least issues. You were like, the, if you're on an AM5 platform, which AM5 motherboard has the best at GISA compatibility? You can do some research. Like, take your time. If you have to buy AMD, take your time, man. That way, at least you can do the best job you can and not getting fucked by the AM dumb. Right? Because AM, AMD is going to fuck you over with their shitty products. But if you have to buy it anyway, or if you just hate NVIDIA more than you hate AMD, which is probably legit, NVIDIA is pretty damn evil, right? Then just wait 60 days, make an informed decision, then, then you're good. Anyway.